Okay, we're all set. Super cool. Thank you so much, Grace. She's so sweet. She's the, the best. Okay, so of course you can tell my brush, nothing but just pink. I only <laughs> use this brush for yeah, my brush painting. She does. Oh. And because the moment Okay, uh, sorry, can I ask everybody to mute themselves? Sorry, sorry. <laughs> okay, it happens. <laughs> Thank you. We're all too exciting, that's why. <laughs> so I need, I know my hang on probably a little bit busy, but I try my best not to put too much information. So this is the stroke we are going to learn later. And this A is good for young flower bud and from this a can go to the a new baby one or this a can go to the b to nearly open of course you can tell so uh, this is the basic one and same stroke can go to the fully blooming opening beautiful peony so you got A, B, C, D, and then we grow leaves, okay? And this is the, the process that you have layer by layer. So this very really Im important uh, technique we call cutting, chiehua, cutting the flower better so they can have layer and layer. And peony, most of time, they can be like very simple, like only two layer. One, this is one, two, three. But you can grow a lot of layer. There's a lot of special art of uh, scientists that grow beautiful flower, even higher and higher. But now today we are going to do maybe only three layer at least. But if you feel comfortable, you can grow more. So. The first one, we don't need much color, but just pink. And then second layer, we need a little bit stronger color, you can tell. And then same technique, but grow more, okay? And honeybee, of course. The honeybee is probably easiest for today. So you grow the head first and then the body. You can skip this color just using the like orange, yellow, just one stroke. You don't need two process for this. And then you grow the, the wing, which is lightweight, and then you grow the leg. I hope there's no one uh, scared about the, the bugs because some people do, okay? And this is number one page. And freehand shade style peony. You can use mist hair, which is this one, this you can tell it's for leaves on because they are dark gray. And most of the time I will encourage young artists use mist here. It's probably all purpose easier. You can use like alum paper and no, not alum, I'm sorry, rice paper and half alum. So it can be one to 12 layer. T for layer you can use, always use uh, the darkness in the tip, I have that earlier. So this idea, you put the leaves with shade, this is your size, it's your look. Some people like to have pointed, you can um, use the pointed stroke, it's your choice. Again, this is not a DMV test, you don't have to you know, worry, really worry about, do I have to follow May every process? You don't have to. Okay, waste some time. And these are the actual dry peony. A little bit refreshing. So you got to hang out from this. I won't demo too much color for the leaves, but actually today, but actually the age, especially young leaves, they do have different color, like a little bit crimson leg in the age. And we're talking about the uh, Sancha Jodi. Most of the one unit have like nine pointed, but not necessarily the true because you can see 
this are different with this, and this are different with this. This just give you some idea, like it should look. Okay, I'm going to just demo my fraud now. So I'm using the raw rice paper. I'm pretty sure you have that. You might have questions about the, the tooth part or the smooth part. Myself, I love tooth part. It's just very personal. You can use either side of the rice paper. Of course, water color, you need what? Water. So I have my water. Probably need to see a little bit. This is way too low, so I'm going to adjust a little bit. Good. Higher. Okay. And the color. A little bit different direction. You can use crimson today for the um the petals color and this for the statement, of course, and white. And this is the beautiful color. You probably had that, but you probably don't have that either. So this is so good on flower painting. But you don't have to use this one because in my hangout, I did write down this one. And if we have time, we can demo you this one later. So you have three kind brushes, big, medium, and small for today. And of course the ink, shape well before you use that, please, because eventually the bottom going to have the zero one if you don't miss well. Always miss well. And this is the one face you, but we are going to paint this part later. It's face you, it looks like vertical line. Okay, so I'll put this away and miss my color. Now, we have this color, crimson. We had white here and yellow, of course, and a little bit pinky for later, okay? So I always separate my dark color with my beautiful flower color because I don't want to mix up with any dark ink or any dark green color. So I have this ink already. How to mix color is so important. I don't even bother use my finger, but use whatever, whatever clean spoon and mix my color with, you know, old, old, old brush. Some people might paint the watercolor for years. So you can, I'm pretty sure you have old brush. So useful for missing color because some are very pricey for Chinese brush. You don't want to use that and you know mix up with the tip, the shape of the color. And then I had my white and crimson. You can use any red color. I'm pretty sure. People have different um, favorite color is, uh, except the crimson. See how pretty it can be. Miss well, put it away, and your brush for flowers. Okay, so very important. You dip your brush into this only white area. And then a little bit pink color. See how important for the Chinese painting, you really had to get rid of the extra moisture color and water 
for sure. And then dip with a little bit strong color. For the first layer, you paint the one near you. For the first layer, you don't need much uh, strong color at this moment. I'd like to make sure I have enough water. And raw rice paper, it's just like a teenager, you have to treat them right. You can ask questions uh, in the chat if you like. So I'm going to put this one on the top so you can see when I demo. So straight a little bit like 90 degree with compared with your uh, paper, but a little bit size drop. And when you pan, tip first and then press into the, we say, do the tummy of the brush and then the root begin the root of the brush. So this is very important because usually when we use the normal paint, we don't write this way. So this is very important. You have to uh, practice a, a little bit. I would say maybe 40 degree for shade typical. One first layer near you. Please do paint different size. Different, at least like three or four. You can always go back because you like to make sure you don't have too much and enough. That require a little bit of travel from painting to your palette. Okay, now you have your first layer of the petal. And then I'm going to take more white, pinky. Again, this are uh, crimson. And when you dig into the darkest one, you can see the cut. It won't do good for your flower petal, so you have to roll it, make sure they merge nice and well. But sometimes you lose a little bit, so you take a little bit more. Now, I have my first layer. Make sure you don't have lump, it's so important. This is more like a process of, of the makeup for the flower petal. So, now we are using the cut technique, which is strong and light. And then you create second layer. But also at the meantime, you really like to watch out what the second layer of the petal. Again, same technique, but now you have second layer. And then I'm pretty sure I have enough. You don't have to uh, adjust the tip. Sometimes it's really good for your painting. Side drop, telephone, and then go around that you're painting a penny, a dime. Now, one more time, white color, little bit pink. Roll, 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 miss well. If you think you don't have enough dark color, it's okay to go back and light touch one more time. I mean, even the master do that too. Now, this is the process like you paint, uh, you play in the tennis. You go left, now you go right. No, you go right and then left. So same brush, you can do like you print the Taiji. Now, another one. And then with the light color, I create the one face you. Rendering paint some stroke. Okay, 
it's just like this way. This is the flower grow from Joanne. <laughs> okay, so we are painting this one now. This one, a little bit this one, okay. See, you can you can tell it looks like uh, the fret one from the flower center. So now I, I'm pretty sure I need to take a little bit stronger color and then side stroke the whole brush and dip it up, okay? And the most challenging part to painting uh, peony is so easy, so easy to paint it like perfect circle. Not in the painting, in the real life, the flower does look like perfect circle, but in the painting, it looks too perfect, too ordinary. So we are looking for something like unevenly balanced for flowers. So make sure it's not perfect. You need to have a little bit cut, circle, little bit cut, a little bit cut here and a little bit cut here and here too. So now I have by one, maybe only two layer. Some peony does have very few layer. And the one, the hangout from, uh, from me, is was taken in Saratoga, Aragoni uh, Garden, Japanese Garden, in the springtime. So you notice I add a little bit water, it's probably too watery. You had to really watch out the amount of, so I borrow a little bit white. Miss well. Avoid the lump. Any painting are not welcome the lump, except they are oil painting. So miss well, it, it requires a little bit time, a little bit pink. So how big you like to practice? I would suggest like handful, your handful size. Too big will be a little bit difficult, too small, you won't see the process. And then uh, I might need to have another neighbor, another good friend, flowers uh, with this. So now I'm facing this way, same process. Different size of the petal first layer. It's really fun to work with the brush. You don't have to fix that because that is should pretty good for our flower petal. Remember our hangout does have this one. So you can see different size in just one flower head. In Chinese, Mandarin, we call Hua Tou, flower head. They do have small and big and extremely big, Brow petal size. Probably need more dark color, which is crimson and row, row, row. Again, you have to watch among the water all the time. Okay, and then a little bit stronger. I have enough in the tummy and the root. I just need a little bit stronger color. And then cut chihua, cutting the edge. Different outline for this second layer. And then side stroke. Very important technique for shei freehand. And then see. This is perfect for my left side, okay? And then sometime I really like to stand out a little bit. I use my tip. 
So even though I did write down the one, two, three step, one, two, three, you can sometimes a little bit different is okay to do the flower petal. Not necessary, you have to do every process because the color sometimes is different, it's good for different part of the flowers. The front part and the one behind. So how strong I need to miss my white I mean, too watery is not good. Too strong, sometimes it looks terrible. Too strong. It looks like great color for some reason. So at least you won't see the water on the top of the water. Probably too much. I will skip a little bit on that. So now we have two. And then I think I need to grow a little bit here. Again, different size. Good. I like it. But this part is way too too much, too many. I like to go a little bit different. Oh, this is very dangerous. See how the edge cut too clear. You really have to miss well. Lady artist create lady painting. So you really have to miss well. A little bit pink. Uh, crimson is purple red color. Compare another, it's a little bit strong, but beautiful for peony it, once you put the white. So now I'm going to paint the young baby one. Make sure you don't line up every flower hat, every unit together, you need a little bit layout for that. This probably the easiest part for this uh, painting. You just need one layer because they are baby, they are not fully open yet. They stay well. Side drop, pick it up. And then the young one always have stronger colors. So now I have light, pink, and strong. Then cut the edge for, with, uh, from the front part. Now this is way too balanced. I'm going to just break the even. Again, too balanced, won't do good. And this is way too flat. It's time for me to fix a little bit for the foam petal. Now it looks better. Okay. These are way too fret, so I'm going to do another petal, which is a little bit far away from my um, my view. Okay, and then another one. Maybe here, side, a little bit size rock, so from roll and pick it up. Oop, I have a little bit drip, but that's okay. I can hide with my galaxy later. So now you have different size of the petal. 
and these are nearly open. White, pink. These two you don't have to worry about rural, but this we do really have to be careful and roll it nice and smooth. Now I'm going to cut this front part. Okay. And you can see there's a little bit space. Take care of that. And then, okay. Now these two looks too similar. I'm going to create another open petal, size drop, and lift it up. Now these two, two ordinary, don't look interesting at all. We have to create another company, which is ready to, for blooming. So more and more dark color at this moment, cut. To the end, if you like, you can do more petal. Because just, just these two are way too balanced. And then I'm going to add another steel. Now opening at this moment. So one, two, three, four, Chinese don't like four number. So let us have another one. Uh, maybe, maybe here. The baby, baby one. Baby one is so easy. You just need a couple straw. One, two, three, four. And then two light. Yes, it is. So let us use a little bit stronger crimson. Yan zi or su hong. Crimson for deeper part. And this is the, the area we are going to paint. Stamen. Now, I'm pretty sure you have small brush. This is, this is watercolor brush. You can use Chinese painting brush, small one. They both work well. Okay. Now, stamen. This is easiest statement. I won't let you to uh, worry about too much for the statement. So this is easiest, very basic one. Yellow, why we add the white? Because just yellow itself, it looks, um, it will disappear in the dark background. A little bit white, it become more opaque. And you can see your lovely flower statement. Okay, this is very fine brush. And just long teardrop shape, lovely. Oops, I see some area I don't like. And this is part is way too flat. It's still time to fix a little bit. Better, way better. Good. So you can do that too. If you see some something way too fresh, it looks like a assembly plastic peony. You would like to make it look lively. Some some peony does grow a lot, a lot of stamen. It depends on what kind you have. So usually we paint the stamen in the darkest area, center and darker, compare the first layer, compare this area. 
okay and more yellow white yellow and white for uh, this one shouldn't see that many that much of the statement so i will skip that one but focus on this like 20 years old Kenny. Now this one, I have to decide which part is the center. So I will actually need to fix with a little bit crimson because I would like to have this part as my statement area. Okay, good, lovely. Now, this is the location where we can put our cinnamon and this one too. What kind of shape? It can be like over or oh, long tea drop little bit long. And not perfect, not a perfect circle shape of the statement. This pretty much I have one, two, three, four, five. Okay, now I'm ready for my galaxy. So this is the um, Miss Hair. If you are the one worry about breed, the raw rice paper really scare you, it breathe too much, you can add a little bit color in the ink. Or some people choose just use the ink. But this is very scary for, for young uh, artists who just learn Chinese painting. So I will let you uh, compare which one you like the most. So usually I put ink in one dish by itself. Now I have water. Every watercolor painting process is mix your brush with water. And then you have a little bit strong color mix well. This is the process. I had my light and strong. So I'm making gray color. The reason we had ink for our black color, because in the old time, there's no black color of, available for painting. But now we have the black color in the tube, which is nice. But I get used to uh, for for this bottle as my uh, bread color. Okay. I seldom use the tube one. So we are painting what? Can see? Hua e. And it's actually with a little bit in this part and this part because light color object, which is our flower today, does require a little bit strong color. So they can stand out a little bit more compared to just itself. But it's up to you. You don't have to paint this one. But I think this will look good. Galaxy is Simple as simple, just one, two, three, and then see slowly my dark is gone and slowly just gray color, which is perfect for our painting. And today, freehand, some people think freehand is too free, but 
it's based on actual size. What the more you paint, the more you probably need paper weight. And then if you are the person worried about the stock, we can do that now. But you have to decide which direction you like to go. Either like grow from the ground or a little bit like a little bit like a little bit abstract. We won't worry about the root today. So I'm going to paint this part with just my pure ink. And then I'll paint the part on the top with color and ink. So one, two. One, two. Now you see the darkest and the lightest. Now I like to paint smaller lips. So this is the one unit. If you like, you can use a small brush. Strong color. You can wait a little bit if you paint at home for the veins, you might. And then the veins, oh, this is the slot and this the veins, you might. Okay, and put this away. More water, or oh, I can pan the lips with color together, you can compare. Okay, maybe I'll put it right here. These are actually candle holder. I think this is perfect for my ink painting. This are sandwich, a tolu, I'm sorry. The darkest turquoise color. This uh, wasn't mentioned in the hangout because I think I use the indigo. You can use indigo too. This is easier green color you can get for Chinese painting. Now I have light turquoise, light gray with darkest in the tip. Okay, so you can uh, tell how it's different. One. Size rock, two. See, they stay so well. Okay. One, and then one, two. It's too balanced. When you paint the shade, it, it doesn't matter the, the actual size. You, the idea for shade is you borrow the object to express your passion. Write down your mind in shade mean. Okay, and then because the uh, the one near the neon flower should be a little bit smaller compared to the the adult flowers. Okay, so I think you can tell this one and this one is a little bit different, right? And also the color did brought a little bit ink, so they won't be that scary compared to just pure ink. Ink itself is so sensitive on rice paper. So strong, they run really fast. That's why I won't recommend you wear the fancy dress and use the pure ink. You really have to watch out But if you are uh, painting and wearing the darkest dark color, that should be fine. Okay, now you can use your cell phone, take a photo, see if that's good enough for the layout. 
I think this part deserves a little bit lighter color, so I'm going to wash and squeeze my brush with my towel. This is eraser at this moment. Now I have very light color, which I need at this moment for my deeper part. I mean, further part. This is so important. It creates the depth of the layer. Yeah, better. You won't tell until, until it's dry out. The reason I am doing the background a little because I'm waiting for this dry out more, the leaves. If some for some reason sometime you painting in the outside, you, you can use the hair dryer, you can use um the sunlight because it's time to pick up and go home. You can use a little bit nice paper uh paper towel or tissue paper. Suck out a little bit, see. It's often time with the demo in the outdoor or in the boat in the hotel or resort. We will do this one, okay? And I will try not to put my wet painting in the outside because especially the windy day, it will blow to your neighbor's house. So paperweight, again, paperweight. And you have to make sure this not to wait. At this moment, you don't have to dip your small brush into the water because you are using what? Pure ink. Let it dry out a little bit, it's still wet, but again, sometimes we don't have time when we painting outside. So let me show you this really quick. This is, I'm going to put on my lips. The veins. The stroke need to be a little bit free. It's not just tracing your veins is need to be lively for the stroke. Sentong. And we will try not to put the lips. To balance. This uh, we call painting the fishbone. Rather than that, we like to have your lips, veins, looks like this. So you can compare this to a different. It is true some lips grow like this, but normally in the painting, we would like to have this one, okay? One more time, the strong, no water, the strong ink or black color. Yes. Strong vein, strong lips does require stronger vein color. The reason I say that because I'm going to do the lighter lips See, this are lighter than this one, and this are lighter than this one. So we had to go with that. Now I wash away my strong color, erase with my paper towel, but more water, a little bit more, not too much. It need to match the darkness of the lips. Okay, now. Same process. It's okay to paint beyond 
the first layer wash because this are uh, xie yi. And this one. See how light this compared with this? But still you can tell this van over there. And this one too. This process is very similar with painting roses leaves. You might ask me, can I point, paint the pointy leaves? Of course you can. Some people do that. But overall, the freehand, um, a little bit roundish object, flower object, compare the real light. It's just how it is. So the galaxy sometimes is actually similar with leaves, but we paint a little bit then. But no detail. It just a little bit stand out this galaxy. And you might ask me, do I have to do this one? Of course we can. Okay. And then when you paint events, you really have to decide which direction should I go. I love doing the events because that means this painting so far so good. Also painting that really like you pray the Taiji so relaxing. Now I'm you can skip this part, the young, the lightest leaves. Some people do that, but we can, you know, always demo a little bit more. Your eraser, get rid of the strongest one, but a little bit touch. Oops, too strong. This, you don't need that many detail of the veins. Okay, now come to our good friend, honeybees. We love honeybees because they work so hard and you really had to decide where should I put it? How many of them? Okay, at least, at least this part, and since I have space here, I might put, you don't want to bump into the, the flower. Of course, in the real life, they're looking for the, you know, statement, the, the pollen, but not in the painting. So not too close, maybe one here and two here. We'll see. You had to paint one first. Now the head, you had to really be careful Make sure you don't have too much water or you can change a uh, small brush to another one. Get rid of this is dry stroke, could be. How big for the bee? Unless it won't be too big because the flower is my handful. The honeybee need to be um, perfect size for that. Not too big. Otherwise, it looks like bee, honeybee out of from space. Head, okay. And the, maybe another one here. When I put the head, I actually already decide the pose of them. The reason I suggest dry straw, which is very few among of the ink or the color, is more safe for you to do the size. Now I'm painting the antenna, Zhujiao. And then many picture productive. Good. So we will need a little bit yellow dish color. Okay, and now for sure, I, I won't use this one at this moment. Small brush, any kind, 
Okay. A little bit water. A little bit yellow. When you wash your brush and try to paint the small object, you really had to watch amount the, the rest of the brush because you do carry some water at this corner. You had to be careful with that because sometimes just one drop is ruining your masterpiece. I will say these are the chest area and another part of honeybee and honeybee. And then I use the same brush. I miss a little bit red color, which I put earlier, but too dry. A little bit water. I don't usually dip my brush into the the water because that way I can judge how much in the brush. Now this is the tail part. Also, you if you use the pricey paint, you actually lose a lot when you dig into the, the water. I either use my spoon, nice and clean spoon, to supply my water or use the bottle, okay? Now let it dry out a little bit and then we take care of the thing. So this is a clean one. A little bit of water. Very tiny amount view. Too, at this moment, too light is better than too strong. The way it can be circle, oops, too dry. The one in Hangout is a little bit pointy, but actually myself, I love the circle one. Ah, still, still too, too, too strong. So I will use the strong to let a last two and then erase. I know maybe some of you will be a hesitate. Once you finish and you love your peony, but can I do my tiny bit directly? You can practice, my suggestion will be, you practice honeybee in another painting first and then you decide to, to have the honeybee in your painting later. Don't rush. You don't want to rush. Now go back to my strong color, small brush for the texture of the honeybee. I can demo the honeybee lay up one more time and pen three to four strike in the tail and this. Now, do I have to paint the feet? Of course you can, but you don't have to. It's all up to you. Some people don't like bus at all. So this leg probably will bother them. Okay. So this is the flow of peony. So I will demo the bead because it's too small. I'll demo one more time, way too small. You like to see better, big, nice size. Paperweight, paperweight. You don't have to use the fancy one. You can always use cell phone. Anything can help. So 
I'm going to paint the bigger honeybee for you. That you painting the soybean, something like that? Is this big enough? I hope so. Any bee size, bean size. And then antenna. This is the normal honeybee. It's, it's not bumblebee. Okay, let me use my water color brush. Make sure it's not blue color. You don't want to see blue honeybee. That will be too blue. Okay. Okay, a little bit yellow. The tip to paint the free hand in raw rice paper. If you worry about too much water, move a little bit faster than you paint in the watercolor paper. So I miss my red and yellow. Now I have vermilion. You can use vermilion. I'm pretty sure that uh, everybody have that because this uh, the most common color for Chinese painting uh, set. Okay, now you have the body part, the, the head. Get rid of this one and use my gray color. Some people use a little bit brownish, like use burnt sienna. You can use that because they when they fight so fast, you really don't see the actual wing. So I will paint two different sides of the honeybee, the wing. So you can decide which one you like the most. Some people even paint another small part of the wing, but Make sure you don't put too much, otherwise it looks like butterfly, okay? So these are two choice of your painting. And again, this is lighter, is better than too strong. The strongest part of this honeybee should be the head. Now, I actually erase some of the ink and color but I'm pretty sure I have left over because I will have to smooth the edge. When they fry so fast, you really don't see them many, that much. So I would like to have this edge more smoother instead of too strong. I would like to have a little bit, a little bit foggy outline, okay? And then again, one more time, with Sprite. So I paint that in the tail part, which is vermilion or orange. Let it dry out a little bit. Ooh, soaky wet. And then two, three, or oh, four, it's up to you. Okay. And you can skip this part. Of course, you know, they have six legs, but you won't paint all of them. You don't have to. Now, what if you paint your honeybee and you have so many space, don't throw away because you can save that painting, even though you practice with your Uh, like cut and left over rice paper. You can always save that for your lovely sister. It can be her gift. Now, more water because they dry out already. And let me tell you a tip. Some people love peach pink color. Since I had yellow, I had my white, some roses, some flower does have different 
color in just one petal. So see, I have this one yellow and pink. Two yellow dish, I mix with a little bit pink. And with a little bit stronger color. Now this flower will be cross look very huge because these are huge. So I had to paint really huge of quarto, the flower heads. So again, one more time. Side stroke, roll. Now you have different color. Don't waste your color. Don't think you, oh, you had too much in the palette and you probably had to wash away. You don't have to. Different size. Large, medium, small, and even smaller one. So I would suggest you paint the first layer first. Don't paint too big because you are going to cut anyway. Now, P, uh, uh, original, this are uh, a white color. That's why I love this kind of design, but if you think you can find the handle uh, holder or Easter peg, you can use that like this process. The light color and then strong color. Slowly, don't rush. Take care of your flower petal, second layer. And here too, now. Side stroke, little bit up, side stroke, but also at the meantime, you pan the outline. This way to ordinary, to uniform. Use the tummy, fix a little bit, be do. Very important, side stroke to clarify the outline. Second layer already. Side stroke, the whole brush and dip it up. Okay. Now I'm pretty sure I had enough, but I just need stronger color. So crimson more in the tip, make sure they don't have cut miss well. And then side stroke. This are way to fret. You can always go back and take care of the edge. The end. Almost this worry me because it's too many, too much strong cut here. So I had to, sometimes we have to watch out the balance too. So I'm using stronger color. And then side stroke. It happened all the time when you do the freehand. Now you have another layer. You can do that. Also, these are way too light. It doesn't mean you cannot go back. You can, of course you can. And this is still a little bit too straight. I would like to create another get and then side stroke okay crimson so pretty but you know what i'm going to use this color at this moment so you can have couple lay a different color 
in just one head, flower head. Again, I borrow white color from this area and then a little bit pink. Now, with my Marie Mei Gui Hong, this is so pretty. Or you can use magenta if you have that. But also you need a little bit crimson because she is stronger than she, okay? You can tell, okay? Four zero and three three eight. Okay, three three eight. Right. So I'm going to put right here. If you need that data. Now, with this new member of the flower petal, Miss Well. Slowly, you have a little bit different color of the. Uh, some people, do, some flower does change the color every day. Uh, maybe a little bit here. Just make sure you don't paint it like a square. Two square dish, two round dish. It's funny, Chinese looking for perfect 10 everything, but not the perfect circle flower hat. Okay, maybe you have another one here. You can always, you are engineer of your flower, so don't rush, take your time. They deserve a little bit patient. So I'm using my size drop. You don't need perfect stroke for this. Maybe stronger so you can see better. Yep, good. A little bit shadow is good for at this moment. Not all of them need that, but at least this one. Okay, now let it dry out a little bit so we can paint the stamen later. Same process, more water. If you cannot finish your paint in one day, cover them with something. Like old cake, old cream cake or old a lunch box, but it need to be oil free, please. Now I have my whatever color, but I love it. I have my red, yellow, white, and crimson. Then a little bit stronger color. Roll, 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 roll it well because I'm painting the young flower. But so you have to decide, don't bump into the honeybee. Uh, hmm. Maybe this size because I like to save the air, the chi. Size drop. And then another part. And then stronger color for center part. Cut. Oops, I think I need to fix a little bit. Okay, nice. And not all, not all the parts, just, you know, this area. Size drop. This is more like a playing the tennis. Left and right. Okay, let me see. Maybe here. More water. 
So again, using the brush is very different with holding ball pen. You need to fully use every part of the brush. That is the most important part. Know how to handle your brush freely. And fully use. Okay. Don't just, not just the tip, unless you're painting the gombi style or the small part that like you're painting a figure in the, in the landscape. Of course, you need to use just the tip part, but freehand flowers leaves does require the whole brush from tip to the root tummy the whole thing and we are so sad because when opaque color mixed with white they don't breathe that much Unless you put a lot of water, otherwise they don't breathe that much. It's very safe for you to paint. I'm going to take care of this part. This actually same technique compared with, oh, actually I'm talking about the flower, but, but it's getting bigger and bigger. <laughs> And then, yeah, this is the same technique with compared with uh, Western style. So every artist have same idea to take care of the flowers. Even, even though they don't speak the same language. So art painting is the international language and the universal. Okay, now I have light and this is safe to miss and match. And then a little bit stronger, just teeny tiny because I'm going to use that for the front part. The front part don't need that much strong color. Okay, sometimes you squeeze your eye and watch. Sometimes you use the cell phone, take a photo and make sure they are nice lay out. So I'll put this away now. Old brush, old deep but goody. This is water, but it become light gray now. And we can use this. You can try to replace this turquoise with ink. I mean indigo, I'm sorry. They works well too. And then stronger color. I will paint two different lips so you can compare. A lot of information, but you'll be fine after you receive my video. Galaxy one, two, three, and one, two, three. I'm saving this for another color, so this will be um, turquoise, totally. Ooh, two bands. Okay, now. Okay, good. Okay. And I will finish this first, then pen this one with another. This is not in the hangout. For some people love to put the stroke first, you can do that. And tiny stroke, quacken, of course. Okay. And grow the lips. Side stroke. 
this one. And then go into this flower, behind that flower. Now you, try, you need to avoid to paint the same layout, same direction. She don't care about balance. They, they care about the emotional, the inspiration of nature. Okay, and then I won't feel the space too much. And then same process, turquoise and gray color from ink. And then I'm going to use a little bit reddish because some Lips does have a little bit. Either crimson lake or burnt sienna age. Again, these are maybe two years old, uh, dry lips from Peony, from my student. Okay, now I dig into a little bit Crimson, especially young lips have this color. You don't have to do that. It, it's lovely, it's good for a lot of um, flowers. So you can compare this too. Uh, I won't paint that. I don't want to paint too much here. I still need a little bit cheap. Need to be space for the air. Okay, good. I love it. So again, need to be match the darkness of what you paint earlier. And maybe this should go here. Decide. You have to decide which duration of your lovely leaves, and then. Use crimson for water. This we exaggerate a little bit. Maybe this require a little bit. Okay. Okay. Let me see. Maybe maybe here. And then light touch with a little bit crimson. Okay, should be fine. Okay, now I'm going to take more. Uh, you have to decide which direction. I'm not going to paint the tiny stroke. But just take out the veins. Okay, nice. We miss a little bit stamen. It's dry enough. And yellow white. Teeny tiny long tea drop. I love this process. It feel like I'm putting the her earring for this flowers. It's just so relaxing for this stamen. Sometimes they grow a lot next to the center because they are huge flowers. Okay. But make sure it's not line up and uniform. This is not a soldier, they are flowers. They need to be a little bit here, a little bit there, but not line up. They won't. Okay, so if you are the person who have a lot of toys, like chops, 
this are vermilion color. Oh, the chop, the chop. They do have a lot of color. This is my, some of my correction, the fun to paint with ink. And this is, oh, San Luo Sui. You don't need that. This is talking about the river. Oh, I paint whatever I like. Okay, Chang Yi. This is the uh, chop. Talking about how you feel, how you like, why you paint. It's not your name, it's not your studio name. You tap tap at every corner. Make sure they are the right direction, otherwise <laughs> it will be upside down. And usually you paint, you put your chalk. To me, I don't want to brought the chi. I put in this area, half inch, both direction, because eventually you are going to have framing, maybe it's up to you. The frame needs a little bit space both sides, okay? So at least half, at least half inch, put your paperweight, please, so they don't move at all. And then, because these are very odd, not ordinary shape, so sometimes it's a little bit difficult to put the chop, but try your best, use the ruler. We talking about that, um, in another class, if we have another class in the future, let it stay a little bit. At the meantime, cover that because California is so dry. We do have ink oil, impact oil for refill. Okay. Dip it up slowly. Now you have your masterpiece. And then usually we clean up well. And then storage well. So make sure your chop don't bump each other because they, they are soft stone. Every stone need to be take care because they are not uh, like stainless. They are soft, they need to be take care, good care of, and put your impact, put in airtight plastic bag, please. And once you wash your brush, clean them well, and put in nice area. If you don't have that ink hanger, let it dry out overnight, fits well too. So you won't have bad hair day in the morning. And always clean up your tabletop. If you see some color over there, because your next painting, probably don't need the white color or a red color, especially when the red go to your landscape, it looks terrible, okay? Always take good care of your uh, material. And you'll be fine. Practice a lot, please. <laughs> so this, let it dry up because these are based on oil material with grass. They require a couple hours, like at least 24 hours to dry out. If you paint this small painting like we have now, you don't have to worry about wet mounting because not much wrinkle, but Web mounting will be another object, a uh, subject to talking about, but usually I don't, you know, worry about that. We, let us focus on the painting first. Okay, so 
that is for today. So let me please let me know if any question. Oh, we have another chat. Thank you, May. That was wonderful. Oh, thank you. Are there any questions from anybody? Yes, please do. We we are not rush unless you like to cook dinner for your honey. <laughs> so the recording I will you know take care today or tomorrow and then send it to Grace and then she will send it to you. Of course I will you know, have to do a little bit uh, edit first. Okay, sounds good. Good. Yeah, thank you so much. Um, well, anytime. Yes, and uh, I'm pretty sure we will invite you again to do another class sometime. So uh, I hope that everybody enjoyed it. Uh, it was such a wonderful class. Um, and if you have um, some paintings to share with us, please, um, oh, yeah. uh -huh, uh -huh. please tag us on social media so that we can see your work. Uh, we would love to see what you painted today. So, <laughs> will, you, you, will you put students' artwork in the Instagram too? Yeah, we would. We will if you share yeah. it with us. Yeah, Good, because Pacifically does provide that you know that space for my students, and they they love it. It looks so professional. I love it. Everybody love it. Yes, everyone great. does such a great job with all of the art. <laughs> great, great. I hope you enjoy it today. Yes, thank you so much. A lot of people are commenting and saying thank you. And oh, uh, yes, it was a wonderful class. We'll see everybody so later. Thank you. See you later, alligator. Bye. 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 <laughs> Bye. Bye. Thank you, everybody. Love you. Bye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.